Okay. I think I have everything ready to go here. Uh, one thing. Quick. The only way to get it to capture. All right. Good. Hello. Hi. Going. I was wondering if you'd be joining us. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Doing everything wrong here. Failing at everything. So I don't really know the whole character creation thing. That, like that's fine. Um, it's not quite exactly like this. Um, like it is in the book or in the world character creation. From the way I'm doing it, I'm doing it a little bit different. So not having a character is fine. All right. I mean, I know what lore I want and stuff like that, and what I want him yeah. to do. Yeah, that that's perfect. That's what you need. Yes. Um, I ma I make stuff. Uh, <laughs> um. Perfect. Okay. Um. Hook. All right. I'm gonna toss you out for a second, Lobo, just because. All right. Solo with everybody. Yep. Okay, so did you read any of the, um, like the story, sort of the background of Demon? Because it's actually sort of important. Um, a little bit. Uh, I played it like once before a long time. Okay, um, right, you didn't... I know it's pretty much like demons are, f uh, uh, yeah, just, just give me the really quick, like, TLDR. <sighs> um, okay, I mean, yeah, um, Pretty much, God made the angels, and the angels created everything, and then they made humans, and God tasked them with keeping watch over them and loving them as much as they loved him, but they were not allowed to interact with them. That's, like, their two things, is they were supposed to love them infinitely, but never interact with them. They could do stuff around them, but couldn't show themselves. So eventually, um, the angels, uh... Um, a group of angels decided to rebel. There's like some there, one of the one of the angels saw something coming in the future, like a storm on the horizon, pretty much through just one of their. Um, it was one of the fiends, and so he got a bunch together and said, "This is happening. We need to deal with it." And they came to the conclusion that they needed to make sure that the humans were able to protect themselves from the coming storm. So they eventually decided to, over the course of one night, show Adam and Eve, essentially, everything. You know, they, they showed themselves to him and it's like, you know, I can do this and gave him a whole bunch of knowledge. And then the next morning, God found out and sent Michael, along with, you know, the other half of the heavenly host of didn't rebel. And that's what started a whole war. And yada 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 and huge war between lucifer and michael and the host of heaven yeah. um, i remember that part okay eventually um so there was also because um adam and eve had a whole slew of children and you know so there was actually a bunch of humans that accepted michael's thing and said yes we'll forget everything we learned and go went back to be protected by the, the angels of god and a bunch of them stayed with lucifer and his rebellious angels and Eventually they lost, um, Michael cursed all the different houses of re rebelling angels. That's where they got all the names, Fiend, Slayer, uh, Urge, Malefactor, all that stuff. So all the stuff that they were doing help got turned against them, essentially. Um, and um, when they lost the war, they all got thrown into the abyss. Because the only thing worse than destruction 
was being completely forgotten about and removed from the two, the, the two things that you love, you know. So they got thrown into the abyss that allowed no, you couldn't, they couldn't sense anything, they couldn't, nothing existed outside. They knew it was there, but they couldn't feel it. They were completely disconnected from it. So um, after centuries and millennia of being stuck in there with only their own hatred at being taken away from everything, it, you know, that's where torment comes from is this infinity time of just only feeling hatred. Um, so, in the world, whenever there was a huge war, it pretty much alludes to this, World War II, World War I, you know, all those huge wars with the lots and lots of death, it would create so pretty much a, a, a maelstrom, um, you know, the spirit vortexes around the abyss, so they could sense that happening, and apparently after enough of these, um, small cracks started to appear in the, the cage, and that's how angels can get out and get to Earth. Okay. So, um, yeah, and that's pretty much the the Cliff Notes version. I mean, there's a lot more there you should definitely read if you have a chance to. It's like four or five chapters. It helps set the stage for, you know, the story pretty much just in general. Um, I, plan on, I plan on reading it. I've just been, as you know, super I know, reading. I know. I wish you'd given me more time, by the way. Just throwing an idea at me earlier than 8 o'clock tonight would have been very I'm nice. Sorry. No, I've, I actually had that idea last night, but I was dead tired and I passed out. <sighs> right. And I thought I, I thought I had messaged it to you, but I guess I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So, you were there in the abyss with all your brothers and sisters, um, hating everything, <laughs> as, as you do. Um, you've seen a couple of people disappear. This is sort of a thing that's happened occasionally. Um, it's not so much anymore. It used to be a lot more common way back when because mages would summon demons out of the abyss to do things and then they'd come back later. But um, occasionally they've been disappearing and not coming back like they normally do when they're being summoned. And um, so. Um, You've been sort of on the lookout for why that could be happening, and at one point, um, you'll notice that there is a crack that you feel that you could get yourself through um, in the abyss. So, wanting to escape the abyss, as as you all do, um, you throw you know the entire force of your will at squeezing through this crack. It's barely big enough for your entity really because i mean you're sort of not form it's more of just a um but more of a spiritual presence um and as you strive to strain through the hole um actually a, um, a monstrous claw sort of grabs hold of some part of you quicker than you can get out the hole and like slowly drags you back to stare at you for a second and um, the, the the finger, you know that you know these these fingers used to be delicate instruments of creating something, but they've turned into these hideous monstrous claws. And he just looks at you for a second, and says, "Remember what you owe me," and it lets you go. And you rocket through the the um, the hole in the the cage, and um, you you throw yourself your 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 being out through the hole and upwards and um there's a humongous maelstrom around the the cage at all times it's just during the wars it was bigger and more intense and um so as you push yourself forward you feel the maelstrom you know tearing at your very being um but the the need to be to escape and get back to earth is so strong that you're actually able to get through it barely um and so for a moment, after you pass through the storm, you, you get to just sit and look down on Earth, um, something that you haven't been able to see in essentially ever. Time is weird for angels, being as they're infinite beings. So, um, you know, it could have been, you know it's been a very, very, very long time, but it could have been millennia, hundreds of millennia, it could have been just a thousand, you know. 
it that that concept's weird. Um, but as you sit there floating above the planet, um, you can already feel the abyss try to start to pull you back to it because you're not supposed to be out here. You're supposed to be in the abyss. That's where your place is. And um, as you feel it start to drag you back, you look down on the planet, and um, the planet turns, and on the um, the west side of the um, United States, the west coast, you, know, I, you would know, your character would not. Yeah. Um, you see two bright lights sort of flare up, and then quickly start to dim. And um, you just get this innate sense that you could anchor yourself here away from the abyss by taking over one of these, but only one of the two. You can feel that they're going to, once you pick one, the other one is gone forever. So, um, so pick one or two. Number two. <laughs> All right. Um, so you fling yourself at this light, driving downwards to take it over to anchor yourself here and away from the abyss. And um, and you do. Um, you sort of throw yourself into this, you know, this shell, this cage of itself, but it's a freer cage. You know, you, you have to occupy something that isn't you, but it keeps you... Once, once you sit yourself in there, you feel the abysses pull just evaporate. So yeah. the um, being in here anchors you here. Um, and as you look around, you know, um, you can sort of... As you get in there and try to stretch around, like, as reflex, you sort of try to flex your wings to sort of stretch and finally be out of... And as they, they, they extend slightly, and then they bump into something, and you... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a weird feeling being having your wings contained like this, but you know that yourself is actually inside this physically and spiritually. Um, so it's it's sort of a weird concept that you can't exert your full might because this um the shell is containing it. Um, you can um, and there you are. Oh. Um, so I need to take a second to get you. So we're doing this a little bit different. Um, your your character is still your character, but um, but the shell you occupy is sort of random. I have created it, but that's why I needed an idea so I could get something around what you were going for. But you do get the chance to um, edit it and fit it, fix it, order to yourself. Okay. So essentially, you're going to fill out like my stats and stuff. Uh yes, I have a character that I created while I was at work. Um, that occupies this thing, and then you can get the chance to. Um, add to it and do something. I'll explain that after I get this up. Unfortunately, the sheet that I have doesn't actually save when I edit the things, so I have to remake it here and then just screen capture it. And send it. Okay. But you're, it's still your character, your angel demon thing that you were planning on playing. It's just, it's occupying you know, yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna grab Lobo just so we can have conversation. Hello, Lobo. Hello. Hi, Lobo. Hi again, Brown. <laughs> also, hello, Rumor and Wiz. I did see you guys. Hello, chat. Hi, chat. I missed you. You you've never left. Okay. 
So I'm gonna, there is more stuff to do with you Brown after work this, but to sort of work on editing your character first and then. Okay. I'm sure you have stuff to do with Bobo. Yeah. I take it Cross made it through the hurricane, okay? Uh, yes, I talked with him, he's fine. They evacuated as soon as it hit a, uh, hit a Cat 5. Out of there, fine. Um. He had something to do this week, that's why he is not here, but he will be back next week. Well, that's good. So we are in San Francisco, right? Yep. Nope. San Jose. San Jose. Okay. San Jose. Still, still yeah. part of the bay. Exactly. That's the name of the story. Almost. I get to figure out something for my character to do this time. Fortunately, <laughs> sort of like clean thing. Oh, right. So can I know what kind of body Brown ended up in? It? No. Oh. That's that's for that's for him to know. Him to know and me to find out. <laughs> Whoops! That's not. Tonight was a really good night, by the way, Cat. Uh, how so? We okay, so with oh, Ragnaros, you mean you, you, uh, in, yeah? Wow, well, nice. It well, it normally takes two. You have to. He has two phases. We just did enough damage to skip the phase, the second, and he died before. Oh, congratulations! Uh, and I got you know, I'm the first hunter to get my pants. Nice. Okay. Minimize this so we can read chat. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, it's kind of crazy to me that there's already people doing well enough to phase Ragnaros. We might be world first in phase one. I'm okay. work on this stuff. Um, okay. So if you go to your journal and go to your handouts, you should have a thing called a vessel. Character. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, I know. It's you. Do I need to input that onto my character sheet? So, um, that is your vessel. Um, you get to add one attribute, three abilities. Um, you get to pick, uh, I think it's five more backgrounds, but they have to be angelic in nature. I already know where the abilities are going. <laughs> Do we have a demolition set, but <laughs> no, I the, it has to go in crafts. <laughs> like from a gameplay standpoint, four fifths of my rules are crafts rules. Uh, okay. Oh right. Yes. Um, so you get to choose five backgrounds, but they have to be angelic in nature. None of no resource or anything because they're giving you that. So if you go to backgrounds, um, your time. Uh, 
Um, okay. So allies, but it would have to be an angel, which may or may not be out of the abyss. Um, eminence. Followers, just because there may you may um, have some... You may have gotten, like, you may have had some family that worshipped you way back when and said that they would, throughout their entire family's lifetime, always follow you. And there may be a follower that you can find, you know, if you take that that background. Uh, legacy. Um, Pax is sort of the same way, but not really. Um, it's a little difficult for that one. Uh, Paragon. So, you know, obviously the, the, the angelic one has to be those. Um, and then you get all of the freebie points to use. Okay. Um, which I believe is 20. So if you're looking at the character creations. Uh, I uh, think in the oh, here, uh, just, that's right. It's point. it's fifteen freebie points, but I gave twenty, so yeah. you get twenty freebie points, and then the lore is normal, and yeah. So that gives you some access to so any character. For, I did have one question. So yes. for visage, visage, all right, you get one lore. Visage. You get a primary law. So, oh, you're talking, yes, uh, I gotta pull up. And so depending my, on yeah. your primary law, it depends on your vis determines your visits. Um, oh, okay, so yes, so, yes, okay. Well, yeah, visage is of whatever, and then it down in the character sheet section where it says apocalyptic form, that will be described in the lore section. So, you have to choose one of the lores of your house as your primary, and that sets your visage. Um, and okay, that's then, what I thought. Yeah, and then for lures, you can have multiple lures, but your primary has to be... My highest. Right, you cannot have a secondary lure higher than your primary lure. So it's sort of like... Um, uh, Tremere... Uh, it's the... like Mage. Yes, oh, like... no, it is? I don't know, I've never played Mage. Yes, it's uh, like Mage. Why can I not think of the Blood Magic Discipline? Thaumaturgy? That one! Yes, it's like Thaumaturgy. Not necromancy. No. That all, that all makes sense? Yep. Okay. So, um, you do not have to follow the nature and demeanor of the mortal. But if you want to maintain the lifestyle of the character, you have to, or else people will figure it out and, you know, that sort of thing. But we can go over that later. Or if you have any questions while you're working on it, let me know. But yeah, transfer what's on the mortal vessel to your character sheet, because starting step. Okay. okay? Yep. Okay. All right, Lobo. And yes, Brown or Rumor, there is. Do you remember where you left off? Uh, surfing the internet, as I recall. Yes. Um, you were indeed doing that. And I'm assuming, from what I remember. Wanted to do that all night, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So you browse through the internet, as one does, um, utilizing your vessel's knowledge of how to do such a thing, picking up stuff, and spend most of the night doing that. Um, you don't really notice the sun coming up. By the way, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble talking about the sun coming up and not destroying things, because the only way I really know White Wolf is vampire, and daytime <laughs> is bad. Yeah. So it's going to be a little hard concept for me to do stuff in the day, but I'm going to do my best. Um, so you you sort of don't really pay attention to the sun coming up. Sort of a quirk of your vessel, but 
you know, you're focused on learning everything that happened to the world in the eternity that you were gone from it. And as you're reading something on global warming and how it's how it's all fake, um, a chat box pops up in the middle of your screen. It just um, and it's sort of um, a black box with green text. It says it literally says Junebug colon WTF are you doing? That's it. Um. Uh... I I will I guess I will sit through Manuel's memories to see who Junebug is first of all. <laughs> um okay. So uh you this comes rather easily being this this is sort of an um a normal thing for him. Um he she or it you don't know if it's a he or she um, is an, um, a member or one of the people that he contacts talks to constantly on you know, online alright um and um, this isn't a normal way you communicate but it is a way so either she's do trying to pull a prank or something, you're not sure he's not sure what this is about but he doesn't touch any and so there is um the cursor is it's a this you know box that's just flashing below her line. Alright. And you should be able to type something. Yeah. Yeah, I've got three points in the computer, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'll be good. <laughs> uh. Um, how to respond? Uh, just surfing the web, killing time. What's up? <laughs> um, so that types back in. Um, do you have? Do you want to create a handle for him? Here, um, Cause, I mean that'll automatically appear because it's his account. But I yeah. don't want to force one on you if you don't want it. You're free to come up with it. And it'll just at first. I'm yeah. awful with coming up with names, so if you want to come up with one real quick, I'm fine with that. Okay. Dead guy sixty nine. I am <laughs> going to remove you from the game. I have that power now. You not fuck with me with that. Um. Hmm. Um. Dead drop appears. It's spelt sort of weird. Dead is missing an A, and prop doesn't look fully right, but that's sort of <laughs> what you can see it being. Um, and it, it says, you know, uh, zero instead of a no type thing. Um, <laughs> uh, and so the response is quickly, um, why are you, you know, let me, let me think how to phrase this correctly. I can see that, dumbass. My grandma was a 264 could see what you're doing. Why can I see what you're doing? Hmm. 
if you want, you can roll intelligence and computers to figure out what she's talking about and how properly to respond. But if you fail, you could look, a, look like a complete utter dumbass, so... <laughs> Sure, I'll go ahead and take that roll. Okay, do you know how to roll in White Wolf? Uh, in White Wolf, no. Okay, roll 20, so, yes. Okay, so what you... Well, yeah, but... um, All rolls, pretty much all rolls in this game, there's a few exceptions, will require an attribute and an ability. And what you do is you take the total number of dots in each of the two in the roll, and you roll that number of d10s. Okay, so... Take five and three, so that's eight. Eight D ten, yep, perfect. All right. So um pens in White Wolf count as um no, that's only a Tens count as two only for specialized, right, Brown? Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ain't no bad. Well, I'm. Um, I know it. Brown knows it. Another, the other of our players knows it. Um, Lobo does not. Is new to the system, but I don't mind teaching. So. Yeah, completely new to the system. So. Um. Yay. So tens obviously are the best if you're specialized in. The, um, in one of the, the categories being is if you had four dots in computers, you could take a specialization, which would be a focus in a particular type of computers. And if your yeah. role requires that sort of knowledge and your role of 10, it counts as two successes. Nice. Um, yeah, that, that, um, so, so, but normally six is, um, the required roll to succeed. Um, as long as something rolls a six, you succeed. I, um, harder stuff could take a higher difficulty. Um, ones take away successes. Awesome. Yeah, so that's just the way the system works. So, um, okay, so, so six, we're going six with the six. Success and one takes away. Eight. Correct. This roll, assuming that successes Sixes are successes. Um, I will tell you otherwise, but don't assume that you got so many successes unless I, you know, tell you the, the difficulty. So here you have a six, a ten, and a seven, and two ones. So you got yep. three successes, two ones, it, and you got one success. One usually success. you only need one success to be able to do whatever you're doing. Um, yeah. Usually you're using, like, disciplines, there's usually, in war, I believe, the more successes you get, the better the effect. But for general stuff, you really only need one. If you get more, you just do it better. Alright. Okay, so... um, Like, that sort of... You, you rack um, manuals, memories, and know that um, when you started sitting down here and looking, you didn't take any of the normal precautions for hiding your um, data trail and browsing and... So that's what she's getting at, that you're just an open book, and she's probably been following what you've been doing for quite some time, and finally decided to, to um, mention something, being as there's no reason you should be doing this for this long, so something's up. So. Obviously, you didn't know that you should be yeah. doing that, <laughs> um, but, you know, if Manu uh... was doing this, he would have... He would have done it, so yeah. I'm looking suspicious right now. Yeah. And I need to figure out a decent lie. <laughs> uh, well, yes. Uh. Um. Can I blame? Uh, I 
I think I'll just try and like blame it on stress. I, 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 I'm not gonna give you the answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I know, I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. Uh, Buy something. Yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking of anything else, so I'll just type back. Oh, uh, I got you a lot on my mind. <laughs> yeah. What? I was supposed to say, remember that you absolutely hate your job, and, well, obviously, he did. Uh, he really hated where he was in life. Yeah. Um, okay, so, do you have something specific? I don't want to, like, throw you over a barrel here, but there's going to be a lot of River that um, White Wolf is focused a lot more on the roleplay aspect, so not so much on mechanics, so... Yeah. Okay. Uh... Or at least the way I play it. Got a lot on my mind lately. I guess I just forgot to... <laughs> my boss has been writing me a lot lately, but I... I managed to get a day off, but even still, can't get the fucker out of my off my mind. <laughs> um, you get a, a dot 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 back for a second, and then a second later, just make sure to wipe your ass. You've been acting really weird recently. You're sort of, and then the window closes by itself. Uh, what? Who is we? I. It's already gone. I said we. No, I mean, I, I'm thinking that to. I'm oh, okay. Thinking that to myself. Talk, so, like, I thought you were talking, typing that back. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Well, um, I, again, you do do have sort of a small bit of fame in a group. Remember. That's right, I do have, you did say I have a bit of, no, a bit of fame in the... Yeah. So, um, context for that that's cool. probably where it's coming from. Um, but, sure. Um, so, yeah. That just happened. Uh... It's, okay. You well, can see the sun's actually up a bit. Like, quite late into the morning. Been at the computer all night. Yeah. I don't want to raise suspicion, so I should probably go ahead and take the advice of wiping my ass, as it was put. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, that's going to take another int in computer's roll. So... Okay. Um, yeah. So you once again um, realize his skill set. Go through, you know, clear browsing history, run some programs, and you didn't know were there to help um, cover what you were doing. just to. You don't really need your digital footprint out there that widely. Yeah. Um. And then um, you actually um. As you're doing that, you stumble across another program that triggers that you remember that you should always be running when you do anything on a browser. Sort of, uh, it's kind of like a proxy. It sort of shifts who, where you're at away from you. Um, uh, it helps hide VPN of sorts. Kind of, sort of. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's there to help put a step between. And That'll everybody come else. That should handy, I imagine. Hmm? That should come in handy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just a general good rule of thumb for somebody like you. Um, Little old innocent me. Huh? So, um, do you have anything you want to be doing? Uh...
I don't really need to sleep, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, <laughs> I also can't raise the system by being active on the internet right now. Well, I mean, this is your normal, I mean... The way you are is you're... you're yeah, you, you sleep sort of whenever, and... Um, okay, so it's... Yeah, you don't... Whenever... He, he just kind of keeps going till he gets tired. So well, I mean, remember, you do have a job, so you do have to sleep to make sure you're rested for that. Um, so it's pretty much a space in between whenever your shift is and, you know, just to make sure that you're not dead the next day at work <laughs> whenever your shift starts. So your shift constantly moves around or you don't have that schedule. Uh... Can I check for... I will... Sense congruence on the... Okay. Uh, you're you're talking um lore one of sense of patterns or lore patterns? Yeah. So what are you trying to figure out? Uh, yeah, I just read that I need to. <laughs> you got to pick something. Specify. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of important. Uh, fair, but. You you can't use that as a general help me DM. I need I need to know what to do. <laughs> I mean it's nice, you can just pick something, you know, and say, hey everyone yeah. but you have to sort of know trying to get uh... Well, as you're as you're wandering around the apartment, um very sparsely decorated apartment, um trying to figure out what to do. Like having a life thing is very weird. Um, the, um, something buzzes pocket uh, and okay. starts making an interesting Slides. noise, sort of a song, but you're not <laughs> quite sure. Not, not like any of the music you're used to remember hearing. Oh, slowly reach into my pocket. <laughs> Uh. Um. Uh. I imagine feel something metal or plastic and yes, <laughs> pull it out. Yes, and... it is. It is his cell phone and it's ringing. <laughs> and on the screen, it it displays um, Kevin. It has a green button and a red button. Green. Uh. Remember, you do have some knowledge of yeah. stuff. I mean, this is all basic stuff that he knows. So, uh, let it, it's, it's sitting there ringing. Third ring. <sighs> Suppose I should answer. <laughs> it, it, it goes to um, the lock screen again. It goes one missed It'd be a little more snappy here. Time, time, <laughs> Tom takes stuff. It, it, you know, it actually happens. You don't get to pause and wait. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, I'll take a little getting used to, but yeah, no, that's that's fine. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna make it everything happen like immediately, but you, there needs to be some yeah rapidness, lots, especially with instant, you know, instant stuff like that happening. Um. Uh, did he leave a voicemail? Um, they leave a message. About a minute after the phone call, um, another line pops up on Earth. The miss, one missed call of new voicemail. I'll check that. Okay. See what Kevin wanted. So you unlock the phone and dial the thing. Please enter your password. You know, just sort of muscle memory. 
type out the, the password. You have one new message. If you'd like to listen to your message, press one. One. Hey man, it's Kevin. Where the hell are you? You were supposed to be in class today. I thought we were talking about how awesome it was to finally, you know, get out of, hopefully get knowledge and get out of the shit jobs we have. You were so excited about it yesterday. And now you didn't even show up to the second day of class. What the fuck, man? Call me. Click. Yeah, it sucks having a life, doesn't it? That you don't know about. <laughs> yeah. Um, fuck. <laughs> I just had the day off. Okay. Well, day off from work. That was the only thing you weren't worried about. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I'm gonna have to be a bit careful with my wording. <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay. I'll call him back. Okay. <laughs> um. Ring. Ring. Hey. Hey. Uh. Sorry about that, man. I completely lost track of time. Got carried away on my computer again. Man, you you said you were going to be focused on this. That's why I was sort of, you know, taking a class with you to help you out. But if you're going to get stuck on your computer every day like you always are, then fuck this. Um, look, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I am focused. The whole point of this was to... Learn some more stuff, and I, that's what I was doing. I just learned the stuff for the class. Well, but like it won't, it won't happen again. Attendance is like ten percent of the grade, man, and like the teacher noticed. So you need to make sure you're there the next, the next days. You can't, you can't keep forgetting and just like skipping out, because then you're gonna fail. And I'm, you know, all right. Uh, you're, all right. You're right. You're absolutely right. I... Uh, all right, I gotta go. Just get get shit sorted. Uh, I'm going to have to. <laughs> Manuel, I'm going to have to figure out your schedule. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, uh, you did spend the day, the night, looking up stuff on the internet instead of trying to figure out the life that you're supposed to be living. Uh. Because one of the weird things is, um, in this, is that you, you have access to memories. But I have to look but, for them. To... Yeah, um, it's not like instant. You are con you're pretty much controlling a puppet that has an entire script in there, but you have to pull from it. You don't. Yeah. You don't get to automatically let it live, and then you are just there. You are now in control of this. Uh. But that is all the exciting things it seems. For the moment, it pops up on your computer. There's no. You can sort of take your time to figure out stuff at the moment. Does. Emmanuel have a Manual. schedule? No e. Ma oh. Manual. Have. Uh, a calendar that he keeps? Or um, anything? A schedule that he keeps? Um, on his phone? On his phone, okay. Like, there's literally a <laughs> bed, like sort of a kitchen area that has a bunch of empty cabinets. It's one of those things where you open a refrigerator and there's like a pack of mustard and maybe a thing of lunch meat and like a loaf of bread and that's it. And <laughs> um, the computer, much. which is the most expensive thing that he owns, obviously. Um, but yes, uh, there is a calendar app on the phone. It does sort of have his schedule as labeled work and classes. It seems that classes are Monday and Tuesdays. Lastly, you missed the second day. Um, and work is um, normally Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you have Mondays and Wednesdays off. Um, but this you did get today off. You sort of switch stuff, so we're gonna um, have to work with if you want. <laughs> also, uh, hello, chicken. Hi, chicken. Um. 
So yeah, you do have the rest of today free. I will give this to you. You order quickly. Check his phrase to thing about the calendar, and he did not actually. Be today. Thank you. I was actually going to ask. For okay. <laughs> um, let me. Brown, how are you doing? Everything good? Coming. It's coming along. I'm okay. reading some. Yeah, that, that's fine. You're free to take as long as you need. I just want to make sure you didn't have any questions. Or... Uh. Well, um, chicken, you haven't been here, and you have no idea what's going on. Um, the guy that he possessed is dead. Was dead. So the guy that the guy that he was is no longer a thing. So him being possessed isn't horrible because his soul was not there anymore. Oh, well, they sort of kick it out. Gotta be yeah. snappy, nice. Yeah. Uh. So, what do you want to do? Uh. I guess I'll hop back on the computer and see if I can get a hold. I'll... How? Does Manuel really talk to his other, his friends online, or? Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's a loner. I don't know. Okay. I mean that that may just be in real life, but yeah, I mean in you know interactions with people. Uh. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll get back online and I'll. You don't have to tell me specific get... stuff that you're doing. You just, I want to. Try to contact said group or something. Okay. I assume that's what yeah. you're trying to do. Don't know how to get I'll at try, it. I'll try and contact the group and see if anything, see what's going on. Okay. Um, it's a small bit of digging. And I'll activate ah, ha, ha. my VPN and yeah. all that. Okay. To... So yes, you you do the track. you do the normal you sort of let muscle memory take over and he does all the normal startup stuff to help hide himself and that other good stuff and you connect to sort of a, a BBS sort of thing um that's a small group for your collective is in four or five users that normally connect in here and you guys conversate um it doesn't have to be um active it's more of a messaging board where you just leave a message, reply. It, it's pretty quickly, because most of the time, most of you all spend, you know, on computer most of your life, so responses are fairly quickly, but they're not instant. So you jump yeah. on there, and um, there's nothing new since the last time he checked. Um, you can like, but um, there's, you know, you can make a post if you like asking a question, about stuff, it's sort of, you know, there's stuff like talking about the bullshit that happened at some, you know, some game got DDoS'd and how it was, you know, they did it so horribly and, you know, just garbage computer talk. Would this game be a very popular MMO? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is three years ago. Uh... Fair enough. Uh... Seems like it was some uh... startup that was trying to get it, and apparently the, the developers assets or some group thought it were, so they decided to yes, you know, DDoS there. Your launch the fuck with him or something. 
you said. Uh, you said Manuel was a. Uh, uh, hacker type. Uh, what? I, I never said that. Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> okay, but I'm. I'm trying to remember what you said about him. It's... He's got. He's very good with computers. And um, he has sort of a knowledge of that, but he's not a hacker. Okay. Uh... So he's he's good with computers. So he's like a he's just like a good coder. Or... Um, I mean, it's he's not a good anything. It's more of just. Spending a lot of time on computers and um, getting more into the back end of stuff. Um, what are you trying to What are you trying to get at here? He can't uh, hack the Gibson if that's what you're getting at. He's not, a, you know. I'm, I'm just. I'm trying to remember, like, if he's uh. Somebody, a conspiracy theorist, somebody who looks into that kind of stuff. Um. What, what he's into, so I can try and think of somewhere to go with this. Go with what? Do you have with, an idea of something you're trying to work with? I mean, I'm lost with, on what you're trying to contacting the group and all that. and You're, you're on the board. You can just, just... Read it like a chat room, I, I guess. I mean, I, I, what are you trying to do specifically? What are you looking for? There is no contacting the group. Like, uh, tell, tell me what you what you want to do, and I can help you figure out how to do it. But, like, contacting the... You can set up a message that just says, you know, that you... Want to talk to somebody? You trying to get information on something? I mean, you're at the place to contact the group. I don't know what else you're looking for. Uh, like what type of group is this? What I'm looking for is it just a bunch of gamers? Is it tech nerds who? It, it it's tech nerds that have a bit of. Uh, Everything knowledge, a bit more detailed knowledge than most, you know, uh, nerds do. A little bit more on the the underlying access knowledge, but nobody nobody here is specifically a hacker. It's essentially, more script kiddies, kind of. But you know, it's more of just a group of people with it's sort of like computer stuff. You know. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking, and I'm just. I mean, you have all day. There's, you're not on any time limit, but. What are you trying to talk to them about? In general. Uh. You, you obviously want to do something here, but you're not telling me what it is you want to do. Uh, starting faith is dependent on... Oh, it's three. It's in the... Three? Or is it dependent on your house? No. Torment is dependent on your house. I think it's Torment in... and Faith. Is but... Faith also your house? I know Torment is. I think it is, but I don't... If it is, it should say it in there, but so it has to be quick enough to check. Uh, record starting uh, phase three, torment based on your house. It's right in the character creation process. Starting phase is three, torment is based on your house, and willpower equal to the of your two. So, uh, yeah, willpower for demons actually changes from the human. 
Uh, yes, you start with your normal three parts, parts of lore. Um, you can talk, Brown. It's fine. <laughs> You're in the fucking Discord, yo. I didn't want to interrupt. That's, I, you pause. Well, there's not a lot to interrupt anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yes, you get three parts of lore, just like three disciplines, but you can, um, lore, you have to have your primary lore, you know, higher than everything else. You can take two and one, three, but you can't take, I guess you could do one, one, and one if you really wanted to. Uh. You're making this more, more difficult than it needs to be, Lobo. I guess I'll write a post scene if anybody wants to talk, if anybody's got in, any interesting news. <laughs> okay, so the the talking part probably not due to the nature of the other messages on the board. So you, you bang out something real quick, just like um, anybody hear anything interesting on the wire recently? You know, I heard just seeing what everybody else has heard. You know, something along that line. Flowing with the, the the sort of type of speech that the other messages have on there. Um, yeah. I mean, you, don't, you know that you don't expect a response immediately. Like I said, it's mm -hmm. more of a message board, not an instant chat. You, know, you could oh. probably check back in an hour or two. I don't know, maybe you'll get lucky and somebody's online right now and, you know, decides to read it and respond, but they were yeah. probably doing their own things. Check back in. Yeah. Later today. Yeah. So you can, like, take a scroll through his phone and look at the contacts. There's not a whole lot, but there are some. What? What is the uh, class that I missed today? What was it on? Um, business. Business, yeah. <laughs> General uh, business stuff, you know. I mean, get out of low wage, you know, stuff. You definitely need a, a business degree if you don't have it. Alright. Uh, scroll through contracts. Uh, contacts? Yeah, contracts. <laughs> Uh, scroll to contacts or the make up for missing boss today and... with an un unhappy face. Uh, Kevin, obviously, probably don't want to call him right now. Yeah. Um, there's another one for mom, um, one for dad, another one for Steve. About it. Most most of you, you don't normally talk to anybody. I'll send Kevin a text, see what the subject was, what I missed in class today. Um, okay. You get a quick one. Um, you get something back all nearly immediately. In class, talk later. Yes. Yeah. Seems like Kevin actually has a lot of classes. He's sort of taking it with you to help you get into. Kevin's kind, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so about this time, um, you decide. Um, coffee sounds like a good idea. You're Coffee seemed to be a big thing for Manuel. And you know that there's, um, you know, a coffee shop down, down the street. Alright. Uh, could go there to grab a coffee to actually get out of the house and expose yourself to the world that you've been absent from. So you've been gone from Earth for ever, essentially. And you've spent the first this 14 day. hours of your day <laughs> staying inside a house, poking at a computer. 
Just saying. It's interesting, okay? And there's knowledge on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Analog Horizon, long time no see. Yes, holes. Okay. <laughs> Screw you, chat. You're not saying anything! That, that was a while ago. Um, yeah. So do we want to do this? But yeah, coffee sounds like... Okay! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't City of Heroes, Team Willikers. <laughs> no, it is not. Um, so, you grab your wallet and keys to the apartment, locking it behind you. Head down the stairs and out the front door and down the street. Um, and as you exit your door, actually, like, this is all normal to him, but you can just get assaulted with the spells of everything. You know, you've been stuck inside the abyss, which literally has no light, no sound, and no nothing. spell, no nothing. It's just your brothers and sisters and the talking that you guys produce. That's it. So, um, yeah, this is quite the shock. Um, you know, not enough to require a role. You know, for whatever the coming fight. But you know, it's still you know, you you pause for a second, taking in the the, the feel of the sun on your skin. Quotes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the smells of on my meat suit. <laughs> um, the flowers. You know, the fog in the air. The you're yelling coming down from the street. You know, just all it's sort of this kind of overwhelming flood of sensations that you are, you know, able to quickly abate and focus on what it feels nice. Sensation feels nice. You know, not nothingness. As to have as much of a weird place as you're in. Again? Hmm? It's so nice to be able to use my senses again. Yes, yeah, pretty much. Um, so after that um, epiphany, essentially, you um, head down the street. Alright. Um, uh, am I, I guess when it's coffee is big for manual, he's something of a regular here. Uh, well, I mean, essentially, but there's a lot of A lot of regulars, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you look like every other, um, you know, techie that just comes through for another cup of coffee. You don't talk to the cashiers, so they're not going to recognize you. Just another spot getting a cup of coffee. There. Uh, I'll order his usual, and once um, I get it, head over to the corner, I guess. Okay. Um, so you walk up to the front. Welcome to Starbucks, you know, some poppy little number that, you know, in all the Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> um, you order a, a grande, um, in Frappa Mochaccino. I don't know what. Grande, fra Gra grande Mocha Frappuccino. Sure, that, sure, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. And what it, you said. It's a nice drink, sure. We'll, we'll make it that and give him, you know, your name. Pay for it and go sit. There's not a whole lot of people in here, so a minute later they call your name. Um, cat. Yeah. Really quick. Yes. Um, flaws and merits. Those you're. Um, I didn't do it for the characters, and you're a perfect being. You don't have any. Do we have merits? Uh, no. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm cutting out both of those. Okay. Uh, Cross doesn't have any. It's just, I didn't feel like dealing with those. Yeah. Oh, there aren't actually merits for demon. Right. Exactly. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's why I'm saying you're you're a perfect being. You don't have any merits. Don't have any flaws. So, I mean, the 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 vessel may have, but you don't. So. We're a perfect being, so we have no flaws, but we're also. So it's you you were created to do a thing, so you you know you do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Angels are weird. So um, you grab your coffee and go back to your corner. 
play. Got your coffee. Maybe drinking coffee. Corner. People watch. Okay. Oh. Uh, you yeah. know, oh, people watch it first. Okay. okay you, you have generic Starbucks um, occupants located here. Um, you got some hippy looking motherfucker at a laptop, you know. We're getting a coffee way too big for him. Got some soccer mom, or a pair of soccer moms, at like a counter drinking very, very weird colored coffees. Obviously, more sugar than coffee. Um, and there's um, a girl, like the opposite corner, typing out on a laptop, you know, headphones on, not really paying attention. Last question, I swear. No, that's fine. I told you, you to ask me if you had a question. No. Wages of sin and acts of kindness? The fuck are those? <laughs> it's on the character sheet. Um, you don't have... What? Um, you don't have any of those yet. Where? Where the hell is that on the character sheet? Right under right under torment. Wages of sin and it has con conscience, of conviction, her. Which yeah. is an acts of kindness. Yeah. Okay, that's not a thing. It's. Are you going over the character creation section of the the book or no? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, then why <laughs> the fuck are you referencing things that's not on the character creation thing? Because it's on the sheet. Okay, maybe we'll need it at a point later. You're scaring me. Oh, shut up. God damn it. Okay, so you spent your freebie points. You. Yep. All the stuff. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So back to local. Let me just get something. Here. Yep. So your your people watching, you go and yeah, you look over the people and they're they're about as generic and normal Starbucks as you could ever think. And they're marvelous. Yeah. So oh, yeah, that's true. You know, it would be pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> Um, Not only are they the creatures that I love so much, but they're something rather than nothing <laughs> that I've been dealing with for eons. Yes, very good point. Um, so as you are watching and sort of getting, you know, enthralled in watching the 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 humans do stuff. That's that's really it. They're doing stuff, and that is interesting because it's all new stuff. Um, you're sort of absorbed in that where you're not paying attention around you, and um, somebody pulls up. You hear it sort of shakes you out of it when he pulls out the chair, sits himself down at your table, and he just sits there, sort of leaning back slightly, arms crossed, just looking at you. Uh, hi. Continue to sip my coffee. What? No, he doesn't drink your coffee. But did no, you... I oh. no, I'm saying I continue to sip my coffee. Okay. Did you say hi? Yes. Okay. Hello. Uh, how do you pronounce your angel name? Oh, my angel. Uh, Erolim. Erolim is how it's. He, he said sort of quietly and go, hello, hello. Hello. So, just, just so you know, this should be throwing up quite a few flags. Yeah. yeah okay. That is. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you, you knew that that would, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's. Okay. Uh. Uh. Can I? Would I be able to like? Would there be a way to tell if he can tell who, if he knows who I am because he's another demon? A way to sense that? Or he just called you by your celestial. Uh, yes, your celestial name. Uh, you can you can pretty much assume from that fact that he's probably an angel or somebody else that has insane knowledge, and being as you just arrived here last night and haven't met anybody, 
one would probably assume he's an angel also. Demon. I'm, I'm going to refer to both of them as the same thing. Yeah. They kind of are. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you can probably assume he's a demon. Or, yeah. Do, okay. Question about the world. Yes. Today. With demons for in the do they know about like vampires and mazes and that or is that no something to learn? um because the only thing you knew before you went into the abyss was humans angels and God and all of the okay. creatures of um so... while the time that you've been gone um came came after you guys got sent away I think. So, the fact that the first vampire happened while you guys were in the abyss means you don't know about vampires. Werewolves and mages are whole different stories. You sort of know mages are a thing. It depends on if anybody talked about it when they came back. I assume so. Mages are known because you guys have been summoned from the abyss by mages in the past. You probably don't know if they exist anymore. Because, okay, so you know... As you can see, magic isn't really a thing anymore. I mean, it is, but only t you don't know that. So, just by saying my celestial name, my, I would immediately jump to another... Demon. Absolutely. Demon. Uh, the only thing, other thing that you could think that would know how to recognize, that would be able to tell that knew in a demon, would be a mage, but you're pretty sure those don't exist. Magic was a thing of the past. Because nobody's uh, really been summoned out from the abyss that means a very long time. Do I... He's able to recognize me, am I able to recognize him? No, and you don't know if he's actually able to recognize you. You look at him and he just... It's a dude. Black suit, short, very almost balding, short hair, goatee, brown, got a I sort of short in the chair, but this looks like another human. Um, hi. I don't think we've met. My name's Manuel. I'll reach out my hand. <laughs> he, he just, he, he still. No, you're not. Uh,. Uh, I was just reading in. Look, obviously you're new. That's you know, I know that. You know that. He he sort of flips out a card and hands it to you. Be here tomorrow. What does it say on the card? As an address. Okay. Well. And our bosses wouldn't be happy if you if you weren't there. Very well. I'll I... uh. So while while you're sitting there fumbling, he gets up and adjusts his jacket and heads out of the the, the coffee shop. Can I? Lore of patterns, trace pattern to see where he came from. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, I knew vampire discipline. Out. I don't know demon powers. <laughs> Shut up. Even still. The invocation allows the fiend to view a particular event and analyze the various forces that caused it to occur. The insight comes in the form of vague impressions that sharpen into detailed images as a demon devotes her unblinking attention to them. You know, I'm gonna hate you for patterns, by the way. <laughs> this is like divinity in fucking D&D. And most of the time, I'm just going to go, yeah, you don't tell anything. Um, Would you like me to make my, to retcon to make my main lore 
portals. No, it's the wi- fine. The wind blows across, and you get a glimpse <laughs> of something that might possibly happen. Yeah, exactly. But you're not... <laughs> okay, so, um... Now, you remember how this works, um, how using lore works, be considering your tormented demons, right? Um... What's considered high torment? Uh, five or more. Okay. So uh, like well, I'm... no, lore is weird if you're talking about the high torment version of a power. Um, so every time you use a lore, every single time, if the number of successes do not beat your torment score, you use a tormented version. Oh. And every time you use the tormented version, you gain one point of temporary torment. You get ten temporary torment, you get one point of ter- permanent torment. Being a demon sucks. <laughs> yeah. And this would be a... Perception. Perception and intuition. So. So, perception is three. Intuition, intuition is two. two. So. Oh, that's five dice. Five. Now you have a torment of three. If you do not roll four successes, use the tormented version. That's going to be torment. Yep. Okay. So you have five dice to get four successes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, are there... What's our maximums? Ten, I'm guessing? Uh, what? For... For skills and knowledges and talents and stuff. You... Or eight? Uh... I mean... What did you do? Um, are you like I, I, boosting? I might move some point. I might move some points around. Like that's why I'm asking. Oh god. Uh, um. Well, you can't. You mean the freebie points that you added? You're yeah. going to okay. I'm like you can't move points, but if you're talking about, I'm gonna say max six here. I, okay. I should really say max five, just because you're. No, five is fine. Okay, yeah, just do, I, I, do that's what I was just asking. Okay. Like, the, my, my character is done. I okay. have everything ready to go. Okay, So cool. we're good to go. And I even gave him his demon name, which is now. Okay, good. Um. No. Retry. You don't get to use that. Oh, okay. Fine. Take the short one. But your demon name is not that entire thing. <laughs> what? Do, do, I, do I want to know what the entire thing is? No, it's just can something I, can I silly. It? Can I pronounce yeah. it? No, I can pronounce I know you can pronounce it, but I'm not going to pronounce it, so I'm saying no. <laughs> you can but, use uh, your okay, short name and just... I mean, look at all the other angelic names. They're, they're of a specific type. You're not a demon, you're an angel that fell. There's, you're a tormented angel. Is referred to as a demon. There's a difference. All right, I'll come up with a better. Thank you. I mean, look at the book for examples. They they sort of have a flow to it. Um, what were we doing? You were trying to do a thing and not. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I I I don't like the odds of getting torment, so I don't think I want to do that. Actually. All right. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Because if you failed, you'd have to try to find violence, and there was no violence here, so you wouldn't be able to see the thing you were trying to do. Uh, uh yeah, and that's just mechanics. It's not me trying to be an ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's just no, how the I, game I works. Um, so yeah, that just happened. Do you want? Uh. Do you, uh, are you? You said you were ready, Brown. All yep. finished. Okay. Do you want to pause there while you? Contemplate yeah. why some random man just jumped, walked up to you and called you by your celestial name. Would it be somewhere? Yes. Yeah. He's almost <laughs> suddenly a demon, so that <laughs> and his boss is... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Yep. Okay. So, uh, Brown. You were there. You're, um, you sort of take a look around and... Um, as as you first start to like settle into your vessel ish thing, um you're sort of quickly assaulted by the um the last few moments that this thing had. Um 
you you see um you're you're sitting at a computer you can see and there's an email open and you can sort of um you get hit with a couple steps before that you see um an email saying um funding quest the um it you know he quickly opens it and quickly skims through it and it just it seems like something in him finally just broke and he was done you know sort of thing and then nothing actually happens as a physical body like he, he didn't actually die it's just his his soul was so worn down that you were able to force it out so you're like the only one of the three that actually didn't have a character that died and that's why the soul's gone you actually kicked this one out good job you're an asshole <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it, it put up no will against you, um, so you slipped in, and yeah. if you, well, I, I will um, so yeah, you're, there you are, there's the screens open to the, um, rejection letter, essentially, of the, um, funding notice. Um, what's around me? Okay, um, you are in a lab setting. Um, you're at the computer on one side. It's a fairly small lab, actually. There's like one workbench that has some um, lab materials on it. Um, there's a computer, small desk in the corner. That's about it. It looks like it may be just you. Hmm. Um, is there a piece of metal around? Tables of metal, stainless steel. I'm gonna take like, uh... so I, I I can read the words, so I know yeah. English. I'm guessing. Um, I know the language that he, that my host knew. Uh yeah, um yeah, it's, it's definitely English. Um and yeah, you can you can read the letter if you'd like. Um, what was, it? I want to read the letter, try to figure out what he was working on. Okay, it's, um, it pretty much, you know, thank you, Dr. Williams, for your request. Unfortunately, we cannot, um, extend any funding on your project at this time. Um, we feel that it doesn't go first with our current you know, all these buzzwords and shit just saying, fuck you, stop trying to contact us and get money from us, essentially. And if you, you scroll back up through the trash bin, there's a lot of those. Um, none, none really refer to what project he was working on or what he was trying to get funding from. It's just a bunch of different companies. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's anything specific. All the companies are different. Um, it, it it may be that he's just trying to get money from wherever he can and just on something. Um, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. And um, you can sort of see that he... Nothing he's been trying to do is work. All the projects he's tried to work on have failed. The research he's trying to do hasn't really gone anywhere. Um, so, yeah. Okay, then. Um... This, uh, so, to get things, um, I'm actually going to do a roll for shape, shape, ob shape object. Oh, you're going to start off with lore. Sweet! Okay, uh, <laughs> I gotta find the Page 190. Oh. oh. I do like that they're, se uh, the lores are separated into houses. But they're not in alphabetical order. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, shape object. Jesus Christ, you have three in Lore of Forge? I have four in Lore of the Forge. I spent 14 points on Dot. Okay. You were able to buy both Craft and Four Dots on... Oh, that's right. You you started... Yeah, you could really afford that? Okay, I'll trust you on that. I had to lose a... I had to lose some of my dots in backgrounds that I was going to put in. They're so cheap, but I had to lose those to get the... I have five in Paragon and three. 
No, I have four. I just have four in Paragon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Okay, because I'm like that is a lot of points. You've got. Well, my bad. Yeah, no, it, it okay. was four in Paragon, three in Pack. Yeah, my so bad. you you bought two points of backgrounds because you had the five. You bought the five craft. Okay. All right, that seems a little bit better. Um. Right. Okay. Uh. Do, 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 do. He's a windbird. Um, right. Okay. What are you trying to make? An earpiece. Ear. Something that can just attach to an ear. Like an earring? Um, so, uh, yeah. I mean, you gotta remember that your angel has knowledge of, you know, crafts from the beginning of time? Yeah. Um, and this vessel doesn't really know about electronics, so I don't know what you're trying to make here. Um, so I, I, just, it just, need, I just need to make an object that's kind of like, um... It, I want it to be like a like almost like a hearing aid, but it's going to be like a piece of metal that will fit in my ear, fit in the ear, and just have like holes in it, like almost like it's a speaker or a filter. Won't actually do anything. It's oh. Just... Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah. There's um. Christ. Um. There's I guess a surgical tray had some. Okay, so do I make my roll? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make the thing. Now for the hard part. Okay. I'm going to enchant it. <laughs> um, effectively, I'm, I'm enchanting it with Humanity 1, so it's a babble fish. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to wreck on this real quick. Um, and you just got here! <laughs> I know. This is like the first thing my character would do. He's, it's, he knows that there's probably going to be multiple different languages, so he's making something so he can understand every language. Okay. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to, give me a second. Fine. I won't do it then. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, I'll it's it I just uh, no, I I I had no idea. Okay, yeah. Uh I this is yeah. Cat was not ready. Um um it's an extended dex plus crafts roll and I expend a faith point. Number of successes depends on the power and scope of the enchantment. So like a, a knife that would lose its edge, never lose its edge requires 1, a key that opens any lock requires 5. And a magic mirror that shows a mortal attaining her deepest desire requires ten. So you would determine like what you think the difficulty would be. Okay. What I'm gonna say right now is that you made the thing and hold on to it. You don't really feel that you can work whatever this is that you're trying to do. With the current body that you have, being as you just got here and you're still trying to figure out how everything works correctly, it's not quite your normal fingers. You, you, you control them, but you feel that they're not quite responding the way that you feel that they would normally be. And you can, once you've adjusted more to your surroundings, you feel that you should be able to do it later. Okay. That work? Yep. Okay, good. 
Um, it's a solid idea, it's just, um, yeah. yeah. So then, um, I'm gonna try to, like, get a feel for the body and... It's, like, it's gonna take no. more than five minutes, just FYI. No, 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 I mean, I'm getting a feel for it, like, I... <laughs> okay. With the, when I did the little shape object thing, it felt weird, so I yes. was one. I need to like. You, you got the thing, it. but it was a little more. Luckily, I mean, you you sort of willed it to happen, being with that role, but yeah, it didn't quite feel as natural as it normally does. Okay. Um. Also, you look down at the hands, and you know, while you were working, they're they're fairly wrinkly. You know, sort of. Um. The, Do we have? You have like innate knowledge of being able to like jump bodies and stuff like that. Uh or... no, that is not a thing. You are here, and if this this thing goes away, you're back in the abyss. These are our anchors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You 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 want to make sure this thing stays alive for as long as possible. So old already, though. Hell, <laughs> I mean, um. You you don't feel that there's any arthritis or anything preventing you from controlling it like nor you normally do. Hearing thing, but oh, okay, you could see that's why it's a little weird because yeah, um, it's a little <laughs> bit on the older side. So. Out of character. What? Out of character. How old is this body? And that's up for Brown to say if he wants. I, I, I don't really like giving out any character information. Characters for yeah, free to keep everything as quiet as or as shared as possible. I'm just uh, barely older than Cat. Fuck you! <laughs> Your character's now 70. He's dead. Welcome back to the abyss, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I love you, Cat. Just mm. remember that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you really on deployment for that long, sister? Also, hi. Okay, anyway, joking aside. Yeah, um, I mean, just trying to, I like, I want to get a feel for the body, like, okay. go through his notes, figure out what he was trying to work on. Okay. Try to figure out where I'm at, like. Yes. Um, so you. Um, sort Does of. Does he have a family? Like, um, no. All this. No. <laughs> you you look around. There's no on his desk. There's no pictures. Anybody? Um. You know, uh, there there actually, um, there is a picture, um, that's actually face down. You know, with the very movie esque thing of a. Of a picture frame that's face down, and you can lift it up and look at it, and it's um, well, what you can assume is yourself because you actually haven't seen yourself in a mirror yet. Um, and somebody older, this was you when you were younger, and somebody older, and arms around each other, and obviously looks like some sort of um, you know, mentor essentially. Um, or somebody that you know, you can assume is yeah. a mentor, and when you see it, it sort of triggers that he sort of helped you through college and career. But obviously, it's face down for a reason. So yeah, um, I'm gonna. Can, how do we delve into their memories? It it's sort of you say that you're gonna do it. I'm sure there's some sort of role, and if it becomes something really big that needs needs a role, I'll I'll look that up and make you make the role. But for general stuff, I'll just sort of give it or don't yeah say. i just want to like yeah you just what, pretty much say i want to try to figure like, out what he because you you get sort of access to all this stuff because it's yours yeah, now like, but you have to sort through it routine? like what's my daily routine where yeah. do i live yeah it, yeah, yeah, like, all that oh, yeah i had to ask what are my allergies <laughs> like what can i not eat so <laughs> oh, i don't like to go into anaphylactic shock and die well you don't have to eat you don't have to eat you don't have to sleep yay being an angel but it tastes but, so wonderful. Um, but you know, it's sort of like Vampire, where you have to keep up. You know, yeah, they're they're similar. Um, 
Yeah, so um, you, I'm assuming you're looking for who this person is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, do they have any connections to anybody? Like, are they a loner? Do they have any friends? Do they have, like, you know, a weekly yoga meetup they go to? Who? The character or the mentor? The character. Oh, the, the vessel? Um, no. Your, your job, your job is your life. You don't have, don't have anybody outside. And obviously that's not going very well, so yeah. Um like what's his name? That type of stuff. I'm <laughs> saying <laughs> Like I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a wallet with like an at or the okay. driver's license and a like all all the basics. Okay. Like, I'm gonna I wanna Well, I mean I'm you have finish. you have all the essential knowledge, um, you know, that's on the character sheet, you know. Matthew William. You're the doctor. Um What's my degree in? Psychology, no. Um, <laughs> uh, tell me chemistry. about your mother. Tell me about your mother. Uh, chemistry. Um, I mean, a lot of the, the stuff materials is materials to make a bomb here. Uh, we have our demo. He doesn't know how to make but... a bomb. Well, he knows like what will happen if you mix chemical X with chemical Y and they come together. And... Well, I mean, yeah, any fucking first year college student could look up that information and knows how to mix ammonia and uh, chlorine to make you know or whatever ammonia and whatever the Amos, fertilizer bomb, whatever uh, the fuck uh, it is. Yeah, uh, ammonia and chlorine make a similar thing to mustard. Yeah, yes, yes, I know. yeah, you know that sort of shit. But I mean, without experimentation, you don't know if you mix hydrochloride with you know, some other thing, it's going to cause a volatile explosion. I mean, if you, you put magnesium in water, it, it creates that. But again, every first year science student knows that, yeah. you know, but um, he doesn't have the knowledge of yeah, making is this, bombs. Um, like, is this my lab? Like, do I own yes. it well, for somebody? Yeah, no, you, you own it, but just barely. I mean, you're, yeah, sorry, you're going to need a little bit more direct, directed questions than just, like, <laughs> you know, general, I mean, you, you've got most of the stuff there. Um, what was I working on? Or what was he working on? Like, what um, was he specifically trying to get funding for? Again, um, going back through the emails and looking, it's really just trying different things to different people. Um, using his knowledge, he... He just needed something. He didn't have anything specific um, that he was working on to to get funding on. It's just he had some stuff. Um, it that brings up some memories of he had some stuff that he thought was going to be the next big thing, um, some chemical compound that, um, but it turned out not to be it, or it was patented already. That you know it was just one of them hidden patents that nobody really put to market, but. He couldn't utilize it, and the next thing he thought that he discovered failed also, and it's just unfortunately been one failure after another. So he doesn't have a project. He was just looking for anything to get money. Um, I have computers one, so I know how to use a computer for yep. the most part, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that. that um, you know how to use a web browser and how to put your yeah. data into a report, sort of. You know how to yeah, type out. Um, computer three. So, I want to uh, look up a forge. Look up a forge. Like a blacksmith, like a blacksmithery shop, yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you you go to Bing, and type in blacksmith in local area. And it, um, a bunch of generic responses on, like, buy blacksmithing tools online, and, you know, um, there's, there's nothing. <laughs> I, I could try to draw this out, there's, there's no here. Um, there's, you do see a horseshoe maker, um, uh, that is out in the country somewhere. Okay. Um, okay. 
Um, this is I, taking place in like the 2016, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna give you a list of things that I want to do. <laughs> okay. And and that's what I'm gonna work on for now, and then you can, and you can get back to Lobo if you want. Oh, okay. But I want to I want to uh, make room in this place and essentially use whatever I can to make an anvil, make a make a crucible, and like I have a desire to make things. Like I, it's like the driving factor behind, like my will of being. Okay. Um. Like almost like an obsessive. I uh, I understand. Obsession. Um. Okay. Um. Trying to. Your your lab is located in um. You know, business park in downtown. It may be difficult to get such things in there, being as it's part of a building. You, you know, you've got a lab in a building with other labs that are also there as people to do science work. You could try it. I'm not saying you can't. Just saying it may not work out well. I mean, if I can get like the raw materials, then I can. I know that I can make it into that. No, that that's fine. Okay. That, that yeah. No. We, we can, yeah, we can. That. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Sure. And work on trying to source steel and uh, yeah, steel, steel and iron and did ceramics ceramics and fireproof materials things like that like I'm assuming that I have some things in here I can use like there's probably already a gas line for a bunsen for a burner and stuff like that uh yeah uh -huh. true um you know you're not sure how if the the source of flow would be enough to support a crucible, but uh, it's a it's a small natural gas line that feeds the entire building. You know, it's a huge one that feeds the entire building, but it's split off for each lab because you know Hudson burners don't take a whole lot. So um, I guess you could try to um, go around the branching and. Um, source, but like, create your own connection at the trunk and feed it into your lab. This is a long-term goal, by the way. Okay. Like, this isn't like, you know, I have to do this, like, right now. It's all yeah, um, so I'm, I'm just trying to let you know about the hurdles as you talk about what you want to see, you know. How you're gonna get around them? Um. Okay. Sure. Yeah. We'll we'll work on that. But yeah, other than that, I guess I'd just like walk outside and you know feel the sunlight. And... <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I mean. Um. Do you? I, sorry. Um. Are you wanting to? work on trying to source materials for that stuff now, or, I mean, you can send it to computer. It, it's going to take you a while because you only have computers one, so you know yeah. how it to use a computer, yeah. basically. It can but... be a long-term thing. Like, okay. as soon as I can, like, I'm just, I, I get very ADD and I just want to, like, I'm going to go explore my surroundings and whatnot. Maybe okay. Get some coffee. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not trying to force you away from this, it's just not quite what I was expecting at all, so I'm trying to roll with it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you can... It, it's late at night right now for you, um, when you first... Because he was working and got to... Just got to it and, you know, that whole thing happened. So there's not anybody in the lab currently. Um, so you can sort of walk up and down... Walk down the hall and take a look at all. 
labs. They're, a lot of the ones are just like yours, small little labs. I'm set up to house a bunch of people trying to, you know, just don't have the funding to get larger. Um, and you can walk out of. I, you said you wanted to go outside. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you can go outside, and it's dark, but you know, it's outside, and it's cold and rainy. Sort of overcast, not super rainy, but you know it's buggy, um, just gloomy and sort of misty and just dour. And there's there's beautiful stone buildings, stone and metal <laughs> buildings everywhere, and I love it. Yes, that that is true. It's it's very very much crafted everything here, um, and um. You can, you know, the business park is just off the street. It has some, a small amount of traffic, not a huge, occasional people driving past, probably people burning the midnight oil like you were, and um, that are heading home finally, that sort of thing. And you're not too far off from more of downtown. I mean, you are downtown, so there's, you can hear lots of honking and cars moving, and there's lots of lights and stuff, not, you know, a mile or so away from you. Yeah, I mean, the, as I'm walking around, I just want I'm just gonna rub my fingers across, like, I don't, like pretty much everything that looks crafted, oh. like somebody made it. Okay. Like I'm just gonna like, like how some angels like get their kicks watching humans. I get my kicks watching thing, looking at things that have been made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, you you do that and. You know, you sort of trace your fingers along the, the sides of the building and um, go over and look at the cars that are in the parking lot. There's a couple of cars, you know, and somebody um, in a lab coat walks out from another building and towards the parking lot and sees you uh, and goes, Have a good night, Dr. And he sort of pauses as you're like tracing your fingers slowly, or you know, across a car that's not yours. Um, just sort of looks at you for a second and shakes his head and gets in his car and drives off. Uh, but yeah, I, I just ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you doing that for the next? While or I mean, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna. I can, I can only drag this out for so long. <laughs> no, I, that's why I'm not. Okay. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to give you a lead in to you know. Okay. I'm letting you know that I'm gonna be walking around randomly. So. <laughs> okay. Well, the thing is, is you have to remember that you have to catch up. This is the night before. Um. Where Lobo and Cross are at late oh okay so, so yeah yeah um, yeah i'm literally I, I literally for the rest for most of the night i just want to walk around and like study stuff and you know i'll do a little touch here a little touch there okay um all right so you yeah um you so sort of wander and we'll be breaking him out of jail <laughs> um you don't know who the fuck this is uh, I know, but I'm making the now. Yeah. Here. Um. So you leave your car behind and just walk towards downtown, and um, you get a couple of weird stairs, but it's downtown San Jose, and people are weird, and you know it doesn't really attract too much attention. It's not assaulting anybody. Um. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of made stuff there. Everything's spend most of your night just enjoying the creations of humans. That pretty much you are like the basis for, because you helped give them the knowledge to be able to make this stuff. I think. I don't know what happened in the eternity that you were gone, but you know, your house was the one that gave them the knowledge to start making things. Yep. Um. But yeah. Uh. That for the entire night. Um. If I. Do I come across anything that's like broke that looks like it might be broken? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, there's um random cars missing its window. There's stuff 
on the ground constantly past a couple of homeless encampments that are full of broken shit. Um, I, well, what in particular are we looking for here? What's broken in the homeless encampment? Uh, people, everything. Um, <laughs> teeth. Um, you know, uh, shopping carts, missing wheels, broken tent poles. I mean, what isn't broken in a homeless encampment? <laughs> um, like, is there anything in that would be interesting to me? That's like looks like it would that looks broken. I. Uh... Are you looking for, like, a detailed mechanical thing? Like, a simple... Because simple machines and detailed machines are completely different. I don't know what interests you. A lever is technically a machine that could be interesting being as made... I... Yeah, no, like, like just something, like, mechanical. Like... Um... There is a... Bicycle that's missing a pedal and has a bent fork. All right. <laughs> I want to fix. I want to fix it. You're yeah, okay. All right. Um. So Good as you news, um, Doctor spends night fixing <laughs> shopping oh no. carts and bicycles. And oh no, no. This is where it gets really cool. Okay. So there is a the, the bicycle that I described. Propped up against a shopping cart. Don't make the roll yet. Um, and it's next to um, a tent. And as you, you sort of focus in on said bicycle, go to fix it. And as you're uh, getting near the stuff, um, the the tent flat opens up and, go, and um. You just hear yelling, Hey, what are you doing there? Get away from my stuff. That's my stuff. What the fuck do you think you're doing? And uh, the whole irate other and gibberish and, you know. Yeah, I, 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 he means nothing to me. This mat, this wonderful device in front of me is all that is my phone. Okay. Um, you know, there's more in. I swear to God, if you touch my fucking stuff, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Get him fuck away from my stuff. Okay. Attempt to do. I'm gonna just kind of touch the bicycle and okay. like ro ro rub my hands over it and, and use enhance up. Uh, okay. You're you're doing what in the way now? Enhance object. I'm so assuming. I need it. Yeah, it's, car is eight, hammer is five. So what's the? Difference? Okay, I I need to find it first. Wait, wait. Enhance objects or or forge one. Yeah. Uh, uh I'd say uh. Best grants need to understanding how the objects are constructed. Operate it. Right. Uh, sure. Go. Go ahead. Six. So it's a cursed bicycle now. Oh. Uh. Yeah. You. You totally uh, did the torment version of that. So. Um. At a. <laughs> at a point of. Uh. Temporary torment. Yeah. Um, objects repaired or enhanced by a monstrous demon or tainted by the demon's hatred, infusing them with a te te tendency to inflict misfortune and death. A roll of one or two, such curse items must cause a botch when used. I'm close to her when a botch occurs. Ah! 
Uh, yeah. And, and to the homeless guy, I'm like, here, this should work better now. Okay, so uh, the guy is uh, coming out of his tent when you touch the bicycle. And, um... I, I, I fixed it for you. Yeah, um, so a pedal appears out of fucking nowhere, and, <laughs> um, the fork, uh, just completely rides itself, uh, like, it bends itself back into shape as he's staring at it, and you, and proceeds to go crazy. <laughs> Um, they, uh, you don't even understand what he's trying to get at. There's words and motion and a knife is there. Well, glinting metal that you know is a knife because it looks like a bigger scalpel. You know what a knife is. Um, and, uh, people are noticing there's in the camp that are running to see why this guy's acting louder than normal. Um, and, um, bite your, you know, not really caring about, you know, like you said, you didn't really care about him. I, uh, your vessel's innate fear of death, you know, just in general, makes you know that you have to run away now. Yeah, I, I leave. Okay. And I, I leave him with his fixed bicycle that's going to end up killing him. He's going to roll. Okay. Bicycle of death. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, luckily, this is a homeless encampment, and the cops really pay attention at all where there are any nearby or any stories they may try to tell. But, um, yeah, so... That was a thing. You, you fixed the thing. <laughs> Good job. I, I, I feel very pleased with myself. Cool. And, that's, uh, that's awesome. I'm glad. You are very fulfilled in your ability to fix things. And then I'm just going to keep walking. Okay. That's, that's fine. Until the sun comes up, okay. and I see the and I see the sunrise, it's just you know. And you turn into ash. Good job, make another character. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. This one's gonna be the son of Elon Musk. Oh God! No, <laughs> it just he automatically turns into ash because he shouldn't exist anymore. So, um. Oh man. Uh, yes. So, you do know that you you have a car still back at the lab. There's a decent apartment that he rests in. in. Or you can just keep walking like a homeless person. Um... Um, I guess I'll go back and shower. Hi. At your your apartment? Yeah, I'll okay. pick up my car and go shower. At okay. <laughs> so, you'll spend another hour and a half walking back to where you got, you left your car, get in your car, drive home, and, um, you know, you, you get to your house and, um, or your apartment and go in the beeping on your answering machine get there just one voicemail I'll um, think to myself who has answering machines these days and then I'll push the you okay he likes to be old school fuck off <laughs> um uh just you know it's a it's a modern one just Answer machine. Um, it picks up and goes, Hello, Dr. Williams. This is um, Bert with security. Left your lab unlocked last night. It didn't look like anything got touched, but you may want to keep an eye on that. 
yeah, just just keep an eye on it. All right, thanks. Okay, I'll make a mental note to lock the lab before after I leave. <laughs> you know, being science equipment and chemical stuff and. This you don't normally do this, so they're not too concerned. But if you keep it up, probably not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason they have security on site, but yeah. Um. Okay. So there's you know, an ish um apartment for you know a a, a large city. Um, got a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. There's a, a desk with a, a very old looking computer, you know. Got a flat screen, barely, and um, a, a Dell purchased, you know, just a quick, nothing fancy at all. It can word process, and that's about it. And there's the couch. Yeah. So you said you were going home to shower? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm assuming after the homeless encounter, I don't smell that well. Um, well, you did walk a while in Bear Slack's lab coat. Uh, yeah, and then the brush with the camp. Yeah, you're probably smelling pretty good. Um, <laughs> so you, you do the normal human shower thing and get dressed in two Casual clothes? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, all right. There you go. You know, it's another pair of slacks, not as fancy as your lab outfit. You're, you're a, a doctor. You dress fairly decently, even in casual clothes. Okay. There you are. Okay. I mean... I'm gonna, I guess, use the computer to try to find some place within a hundred mile radius that will has a forge and a crucible and a blacksmith stuff. So. Okay. Um. Sure. Yeah, that that'll spend you a bit of time. Um, there's some um, you can find up in San Francisco is that there is a sort of craft blacksmith place that you know makes some stuff out of forged iron, forged steel, that sort of stuff, and. And I mean, crucibles aren't hard to come by, but um, it depends on if you're looking for, like, using theirs or purchasing for yourself. I mean, they're really easy to build. Like, yeah, it's in, just, in, a, like... it's just a, a very thick, yeah, stone hole for them. I mean, so, I mean, yeah, there's, I'm sure you could probably find somebody that has one. Would they be letting you, you're willing to let you use it? That's a different story. I mean, they've got, there's, I'm sure the, the Ford, the, you know, the Craft Forge has their own, but I mean, they use it to do, run their business. So, I, I know you said you wanted to, wanted your own, but they're not cheap. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'll spend the rest of the night just doing day. stuff like that. Okay. Looking for sources till the daylight comes up, and then okay, try to figure out what I want to do. Contemplate life. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I mean, you do have a job technically. Um. I mean, you said I pretty much work for myself, though. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, you're a scientist that was um yeah. So you don't technically have a job, but you do have a job because um. You know, it's just one of those fail, sci failed scientists sort of thing, you know, because most science 
is based off of funding from people trying to get stuff. Nobody wanted to give you any money. So, <laughs> you know, that's sort of what you did for a job, but then it didn't really work out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, you could work on trying to figure out something. Maybe use your knowledge and his knowledge combined to try to figure out something that you can maybe get funding for or just completely say fuck it and do your own thing. And, I mean... That's that's the interesting thing with Demon, is you could try to follow in the footsteps of your host, your, your vessel's old life, or you could just say fuck everything and go away from it. Uh, luckily, you're in a position where you don't really have anybody that you need to worry about keeping up affairs for. Lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, pretty much it's kind of a, you know, fuck everything, I just want to make stuff type. Okay, that that's um the thing is if you're gonna do that you're probably going to need to not use the building that you have the lab space in because there's stuff associated with that. Um, I mean, um, yeah. Uh, the the problem is, I I'm just trying to think. Because to make stuff, you need materials. Materials need money. Without a source of income, you don't... I mean, you have a little bit of savings from... But not a whole lot. Considering you haven't really gotten funding recently. But... You could make do without. Depending on what you find and what you're trying to make. So Get to dig it in the backyard. <laughs> um... And just the... Sort of... You, you do have a bit of knowledge. I mean, you could just um, go somewhere else. You're only really known in the current lab space in Strat, so you could try to go somewhere else, try to get a job using your knowledge to could maybe work out for it. I don't know. I know you just want to make stuff. But, you know, you sort of got to have a source for that yeah i'm know. gonna i'm gonna look online for any companies that are hiring like inventors crafters people who have like extraordinary abilities type thing okay um job hunt <laughs> um i use this weird thing called monster.com <laughs> 2016 not 22 um or 2002 2002. Um, Wait, was the was the boring company around back then? No, it was. I don't think so. <laughs> you want to make the flamethrower? No, yeah. you, you you don't get to work for Elon Musk in this game. Sorry. Um, we had too much too much of that in the last game. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna spend a bit of time on that. It was founded in December of 16. Oh jeez. Well, it's early 2016, <laughs> so no. <laughs> Anyway, you're going to spend some time looking for Dutch. Um, and yes. So, Lovo had some time to um, think about okay. uh, your current ad adventure yeah, that just uh, happened. I'll probably input. He said me and tomorrow at the address, right? Uh, correct. Then yeah, I would have afterwards started heading back towards my apartment and... Okay. Uh... You do happen to notice that um, at the time that he wants to meet happens to be in the middle of your work shift. In the middle of work? Yeah. Uh... Well, that's going to be an issue if I want to. Well, then again, you yeah, also you you remember that um, your vessel didn't plan on being at work on Wednesday. Yeah. As, uh, yeah. So. But why that happened? I'm here now, and I'm trying to give up appearances. Okay. Um. <laughs> but. You don't know what whoever that was is going to do if you don't yeah. show up. 
I mean, he knows who you are, what you are, obviously. And, um, celestial names are a little weird. They're not true names, but they do still have a little bit of a So let's see, the patterns. He would have, he knows my name, so he would have to be another demon, presumably. Oh. Trying to look God. up. Um. This I'm certainly not the first demon to escape, so he most likely is it another one potentially of allies help me out here on earth. Hmm. And as I As I get back to my apartment and undo the lock and let myself in that lock the door behind me. Uh I'll head back over to the computer, turn on my proxy and first check the uh form, see if anybody responded to my post. Um Okay, I have those in three different names. The name of their mortal host, their select name, it's a demon. Your name. Yeah, okay. Your name is a collection of arcane symbols, sounds and concepts. Yada. Um, celestial name is one that often when. Um. Just trying to see if it holds any other, you know. Okay, it seems like it's only really you. It it has anything to do with lore. If you're able to. Use the uh, demon celestial gives you a lesser doom. Okay. It, it is shocking to hear your celestial name, you know, outside the abyss. That was. Okay, what were you doing? Uh, the posts on the BBS, yes. Um, yeah, there there is one response to um, one of the other. It's not June Buzz, but somebody else responded. Bonds with some thing, you know, some some game launched, not not launched, a review. Yeah, let's go with that. There's a game review that they're talking about and calling bullshit because games are decent, piece of trash or something. But nothing really interesting. The, the world hasn't set itself on fire. <laughs> Well, good that the world's still on its tracks. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I wonder if there's a tr I wonder if there's a pattern in that review. Hmm. Uh, I I'm going to just kind of look back into manuals memories and looking for thinking of map and realize that I can um, look it up online and looking I for what? The, that I can uh I said look get up online but let me be a bit more look I can enter the address online and get a map of where it is. Oh yes. Okay. You're trying to figure out where the fuck he wants you to go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um so yes you get online Google Maps, type in the address, boom! It's uh, a place. How far from it, how far from my apartment is it? <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah, there, there it is on the map. Um, it's uh, half an hour. Uh, is it near my work, or? Probably half an hour out from that, too. <laughs> no, you could not go to whatever meeting this is in, during your lunchtime. <laughs> during my lunch break? <laughs> uh, that would have been really helpful. But... Uh-huh. 
Not what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> well, let's see. So he's clearly a moon demon. But chances of anything else are <laughs> far too astronomical. Uh, he's hopefully f friendly, not looking to send me back to the abyss or anything. Perhaps well, mutual... maybe. I mean, he could just not be there. Yeah, but it's not a zero percent chance, but hopefully he's. I know this faction too. It's this. So hopefully he's in a forming committee. This is the chance that he's. Uh, you said that when I, as I was leaving the abyss, that another demon reached out after me and said something about don't forget what you owe me, right? That's correct. So. Uh, there was that being that if he's one of his, this could very well be not something pleasant. Hmm. What else is in the area of the meeting? Are you asking that? I don't know if. You... Yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't know if you were still. I, I'm saying that out loud to be in character, but I'm actually wondering about it. Actually okay. asking that. Um, you look at the surrounding area, and Google Maps doesn't show. There's no names or anything. So, um, not sure what's there. It's not like you know. There's no tags for like a back in a box or. Of a business. Yeah. It's some buildings. Could be houses. Could be really big houses. Hmm. That's concerning. I would have liked to have a better idea of what I'm walking into. Think, <laughs> you think to activate the satellite view of Google Maps? Yeah. Um, take a look. And wow, they look like warehouses. <laughs> All right. So you want to be in a way. <laughs> uh, hmm. I suppose I should leave it up to one of the. Um, uh, how to word this? Cosmic forces that we left running while we were banished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull out a coin and flip it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh. You could roll a d2. Yeah. Could be like that. That's what I was thinking. Uh. Hence, I meet him, tails, I blow him off and start planning how to, and start planning how to deal with the consequences. His heads and which tails? I was thinking one has two tails, so. Okay. <laughs> Looks like the meeting's on. Uh, I pull back out the phone and I'm going to look through the contacts to see if I recognize any names of Manuel's co workers. Um, there's, again, there's like five contacts in there, six. There's Boss, Sad Face, there's Mom, there's Dad, Eve, there's Kevin. 
That's what you think. Who was Steve again? I haven't oh, asked currently. that yet. Okay. Uh, then let's find out some more about Steve. What? What is? What can I access easily within Manuel's memories of Steve? Um, Steve Waitens. Work. Um, he used to work there. Nothing anymore. You guys sort of hung out. You haven't talked. I'm him from the phone. <laughs> That's the the address book is already small enough as it is. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it matter if he? Manuel, you felt so alone as well, didn't you? Yeah. He's not here anymore, so... Hit. Was his life felt was the keyword. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll have to see if a co-worker can care for me when I go into work tomorrow. Uh, may not have the number saved in your phone, but it doesn't mean you won't know the work number. Yeah. Uh, but if you're going to call it uh, sick, it's usually better to call the day of, not the day before. It's a little bit more believable yeah. that way. Yeah, and I was thinking I already called to get the day off, and it was, so it might not work. Great, but yeah. Well, I mean, you had something to take care of today, technically. Technically. Doesn't mean you couldn't have caught a cold. You know, you've got some sick days. Yeah, they won't be happy about it, but. Take them. Uh, fair point, fair point. I'm trying to help you out here, but, you know. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, well, Uh, so I have a point of fame, do I? If I ask what, how I got that, would you be able to answer that right now? Or? Yeah, it comes from, um, it, pretty much everybody in the group, it, you know, online knows who you are. Sort of, you know, you've got a little bit of knowledge to use you know, that people are sort of in awe of. It's one point, not particularly fantastic. Mm, yeah, I don't know if this... It pretty much fame Let's... reads as you're known to a very small group of people. Pretty mm, much everybody yeah. in that group is there because you are. How about that? Okay, this is... Uh, I was wondering if there's like something particular that I did to get it or something, but not nothing in particular that you can think of. I mean, right. technically, if looking at it from a point of view, I would have a one fame on Twitch. There's people that come to my channel. I haven't done anything particular. I'm just <laughs> sort of okay. <laughs> uh. Alright, uh... So I'm going to meet him, I'm going to presume he's a friend, because I'm going to meet him. Okay, you've already made the decision to meet him. 
Why are we still dwelling on the same thing constantly? Uh, I know you said I don't need to sleep. Am I able to Yeah, you sleep? can sleep, absolutely. I mean, um, probably good to keep the... Um, it's going to be a little weird because I, I don't... I think you sort of keep the body in shape and stuff through just faith, you know, your ex exhortation of... Uh, I don't think you actually have to eat. You can. I mean, it's not like you can't, like in Vampire, but you don't eat it. Yeah. So, same thing with sleeping. But it is, you know, I guess, yeah. Probably like noon or something. Uh, I'm just not really sure what else to do. <laughs> okay. I mean... Um, there's a whole wide city to explore, and haven't had a chance to be out in the world for sure. millennia, sure. but you're, you're back in your apartment, hanging out there. I'll go for a walk, all right. There, there's, a, there's a library! There's boundless knowledge everywhere. And most of it's accessible from the computer. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Go. Go for a walking. Yeah. It's unfortunately. I'm. I'm trying my best to to come up with stuff. It's just. It's difficult without cause being here to go to the next part. So, um, yeah, yeah. point. Um, but yeah, you you do a bit of walking, and um, I mean, will let me jump over. Round. Yo. Okay. What were you doing? I forget. You were looking for. I was something, job. something, something dark side. You were looking for, like, a... A job or something. Oh, that's right, a job. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, luckily, um... I mean, you've got a, a general science background with, like, a focus in chemistry, but, I mean, you can apply that knowledge to, um, one of the pharmaceutical companies you know, you, you put in, there's a lot of places hiring for just general, you know, farm techs, stuff like that. So, um, you put out applications, places, at least, you know, if nothing else, just to source the materials to craft stuff. Like, um, obviously they're not going to get back to you immediately. Um... So you spend a bit of time doing that, you know, app uh, resumes and applications aren't exactly quick to fill out, so our application sending them out to a couple of places, sorry. Um, and then you get a, um, your, the phone at the apartment rings. I will answer. Uh, Dr. Williams? Yes. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, that, there you are. Um, it's Bob, back at with security, back at the lab. Um, there's there's a guy here. Says he's he's supposed to meet you. I didn't let him into the lab because we don't do that, you know. But um, he seems pretty insistent. Were you planning on meeting anybody? No, but I guess send him in. Uh. Or I'll come. Remember, you're you're at your apartment. <laughs> yeah. I'll, um. Tell him I'll, I'll be right down. Uh, oh, okay. Um, are you in the, I didn't see you come in. Are you there, or...? No, no, I'm at home. Uh, you called uh, me on my house phone. Right, right, sorry. This, this, this whole situation is very weird. I, I apologize. 
Uh, okay, I'll just tell him to take a seat and, uh, yeah, all right. Like, oh yeah, some guy that's apparently supposed to. That's interesting. You there? Who? Me? Yeah. Yeah? What are you I'm doing? Here. You I'm I not gonna force you to go down there. I said I was going down to the left. I you didn't hear that. You just said that was interesting. Um okay. So you just iron. I've lab club and there's a little, you know, reception area that all the security guys sitting at and you know, you walk through the front door. Gentlemen, um, sitting with the chairs, uh, stock here, short, almost balding hair, goatee, not long, not like mine, you know, ghostly cropped, uh, dark yeah. suit, uh, black tie. He smiles and nods at you. Perhaps we should go meet in your. Um, okay. That's all he says. I'm going to my lab. Okay, and you follows right behind you. So you you two get in there. The door closes. He goes, um, really, Brown? Really? What? It... <laughs> you just now saw the name. Oh my god! You just now saw the name. <laughs> what? What? I missed it. I missed it. That's, that's... You, look at the. Just look. It's not angelic at all. Bobathor? Oh, there's <laughs> there's nothing. I... Oh, do it again. <laughs> I'll, I'll think on it. Okay. Well, he 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 says it's good to see you. <laughs> Insert angel name here. <laughs> He's still going to kill you, Brown. Yeah. I thought it was a decent name. Give it. Cross's demon? Abraxio. Lobo's demon? Fucking Aerolim. Do something angelic! There's like examples everywhere in the book. I was actually looking for some. Ooh, Babathiel. Oh my god, no! Alright, alright, I'll actually think about it. Thank you. Just think it something um okay well so he'll use your celestial name and then he'll just okay. stand there smiling at you can i help you yeah you can it flips out a card put out for you you can meet me there tomorrow what does the card say it has an address Let me guess, an address for where? Oh, he doesn't know that. I mean, I'm gonna look up, when he leaves, I'm gonna look up the address. Well, he, he hands you that and smiles and then walks back out. That's it. So. Um, so yeah. He, uh, yeah, so you go to the computer and, um, type in the address to, to Bing and it links to a map. Um, it shows the place in San Jose, but and there it is. It's the location. Okay, uh, I'm gonna see go there tomorrow. Oh, okay. I mean, you can you know get directions to there. You don't know what it is. It's just you know there's some square shapes on there. Well, I mean, yeah, I'll look it. I'll look it up and figure out like where it is and okay. what I need. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's about 20 minute drive from, you're luckily closer to him, Lobo is sort of down, but, uh, Maybe yeah. Also really tall. Oh, uh, <laughs> by the way, I like to let, um, it's a good thing that you pick two, pick, uh, when you pick the vessel, because the other one was a, um, a drug addict. Yeah, he was a drug Yay, addict. Yay, I got it right! That, 
Um, he actually We was all work... picked two. Yeah, that's very funny. Um, he actually was working on creating new drugs, so he had a bit of skill in, you know, science and uh, creation. He had four in science. But, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But were all of the number ones drug addicts? Uh, no. No, everybody had different things, depending. Um, actually, you're the only one that got the, um, the... Living the... body. Well, the thing is that I created um, two for each person, one with, that sort of more focused on what the character was, and one that sort of had the same... It was sort of in the same vein, but not quite the stereotypical thing for it, and you're the only one that got them. I kind of got it too. But well, I yeah, I mean, it, it fit the character a little bit better, me. because you eventually, you gave me Malefactor to begin with, and then wanted to be a fiend afterwards. I gave you... I told you I was surveying Malefactor or Fiend. No. Then. No. When you first talked about it, you said Malefactor. Then you decided to change the Fiend later, after it already created the, the vessels. So in other words, I got Lobo's leftovers. No! I created them <laughs> specifically for you. Oh. I spent a lot of time working on trying to create these. All right? Anyway, um, so yes, you have some some strange man that knows your celestial name, even though you just got here last night, telling you to meet you at a place tomorrow. Interesting. Um, so there. You get, um, as you're looking up on the map and stuff, you get a ping on generic response saying, thank you for your application. Just one, you know, you're probably going to get a lot of those. Assholes. Yes. It's not like you're not yeah. used to rejection. Ooh! Burn! Uh, I know that reply all too well. I'm currently job hunting. So, um... So, yeah, um, I mean, we're free to go for as much of today as possible that you guys want to do, but I really have to pause to get here next week, so... Yeah, I'm fine with whatever. Okay. Like, I still have stuff I can do. Okay, right? yeah. Like, I'm up for a while. Oh. And if you need to talk to me off stream, just let me know. Oh, no, I mean... Nothing in particular. Um, what the hell does Paragon do again? This means oh, you're uh, really good at your what you do. Yeah, for my primary, um, every game I can re-roll up right. to my Paragon. Paragon's the re-roll beat the background, that's right. How the hell? You have three in pack? Oh god, yeah, you're gonna have to come up with that one on your Tell me what it is. Um, that's the one we eat. Pact is I just get faith every day. Right. Where do you get it from, though? I have a pact with some ancient crafting family. Uh-huh. We'll come up with the details later. <laughs> like, you wanted me to make a character really quickly, so I made a character really quickly. I, I didn't want you to make it really quickly. I tried to give you as much time as possible, and you said you were done. Alright, anyway. Um, it's just, it, it'll... I love you, Cat. I'm trying to think. Well, the thing is with PAX is that you have to specifically do it with the people that are... Because it's not really a family passed down thing. Because you have to form the pack with the person giving you the faith. Ah, uh, okay. I'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure so... Out. Um, like, I, don't, I don't have it yet, but I will get it how about that, Does that uh make, that... uh sure we'll okay you'll have it in preparation some stuff like sure okay fine so until you forge those packs you can't do um right yeah or something i'll look at it more later okay uh what else did you, you said you had other things to who, me? Yeah, do you? Yes. Lobo, at this point, you're free to do what you will. 
No, no, I, I meant like I, I can do other stuff besides play. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. Lobo, is there anything else you you seem to be sort of solid in uh, Lobo also? Yeah. Um... Okay, that's fine. No problem. Yeah, it's just unfortunately it was I was trying to catch Brown up to where you and Cross were. I've still got to do Cross stuff. He's here. The problem was not having everybody here at yeah. the same time. So. Yeah, I, I, I didn't really think about that part that you were casting Brown up and I was here, so I. Yeah, you, no, you, that that's that's fine. I wanted to make sure that you were, you know, because if it was just Brown by himself and catching him up, it wouldn't have taken, you know, been like an hour. And... All right, that that's it. <laughs> so, no, yeah. I wanted to make sure you were here. So, you guys are both at sort of the same point. You have all of today to do things, but that's about it. So we can, yeah, hopefully get everybody up to the same. Alright. Yes. Well. Yeah, and you can spend some more time, Brown, um, you know, during spending, you know, yeah. <laughs> not trying to force a character quickly. Okay. I'll read more of the book. Yes. Myself back up again. You too, Lobo. Yes. Okay. Um, I was looking for my laws, and I'm realizing I kind of wish I used my freebies a little differently, but... Okay. Um... Uh... I'll... At this point, I'm fine with just dealing with it and playing it a bit okay. differently than I was thinking. All right. So. All right, we and, I'm gonna, be... I'm gonna, and I'm also gonna go do back and double check my math. Okay. Because yeah. You can, if you can send me the stuff, because you said it was like. Uh, you got. It's just because we got a certain amount of points on top of the character, but then we also got our freebie points, and then right. it was, you got it was... you got one attribute, three abilities, twenty freebie points. I didn't spend the freebie points in making the vessels, so I gave you the normal. Freebie points plus five. Uh, and also there's the fact that humans have a uh, different starting points than demons. Yeah, they yeah they have different starting points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that's uh, mortals start six four three eleven seven four as opposed to if it was vampire it's thirteen nine five and. Seven five three, but something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's the the freebie point. Help keep it round. How do you have eight faith, by the way? Yeah. It's conscience plus conviction. No, it's faith is three. Willpower is the. Oh yeah, five. no, I I don't have eight faith. Yeah. Um, okay. I mix those two. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, that's not right at all. Or, or you clicked something. Uh, I didn't click anything. I haven't clicked anything on your character sheet. I fixed it now, though. Okay. But anyway, yes. Thank you, guys. Um, for tonight, I'll be back yeah. next week. Hopefully, with all three of you here, and go from. Yes. Sounds good. All right. Uh, see you around. Yep. Have a good night. Bye, cat. Bye. Love you. <laughs> All right, chat. That's it. I will um, try to have more stuff, better stuff for next week. Um, we should, get, you know, fit into it. So, thank you guys for coming out. Appreciate it. Sorry if stuff's kind of wonky. First attempt at doing this. Oh, I'm doing my best. All right. We'll see you next week for this and more stuff tomorrow.